My name is John Wang. I'm one of the hip and knee replacement specialists here at HSS. We see a lot of patients with severe arthritis, uh, different kinds of arthritic conditions, degenerative uh, inflammatory arthritis, rheumatoid, uh, generally enough arthritis to really limit their day-to-day -day activities and their quality of life. I think patients start to consider joint replacement surgery when they really feel like their painful uh, hip or knee are now limiting what they want to do. Um, and sometimes these uh, symptoms are quite severe and uh, patients really have decreased quality in life. We really try to individualize it. You know, everyone has, they have different pain levels, different pathologies, and, and also different levels of activity that they want to return to. So typically on the first visit, we do a very comprehensive uh, review of, uh, of the medical history, the surgical history, and everything that has been going on with the patient up to the point of me seeing them. Um, we do a comprehensive exam, and we review all the imaging that are available to us to really try to nail down what's causing them to have the pain and the symptoms, and then to really formulate uh, a good plan going forward to try to help them uh, get back to their activities and achieve pain control. Uh, of course, we always try to start conservative treatment if possible and try to avoid surgery as long as, as we can. Uh, and then we also uh, a lot of times talk about surgical options, and then we delve into the type of surgery, the technologies involved to expect to recovery. And we do a, a pretty good job of trying to answer everyone's questions. Hip and knee replacement surgery has really proven uh, over the past 20 to 30 years to be one of the most successful surgeries in modern medicine. And it's getting better and better, and it's to the point now where some patients are able to go home on the same day. And there are some definite concrete benefits of same-day surgery. I think the patients are able to mobilize faster. I think that their pain control is a little better. I think ultimately they're generally happier when they're able to, to spend the bulk of their recovery at home in the comfort of their own house and in their own bed. I get a lot of personal gratification from seeing patients that are able to walk back into the office and, uh, and tell me how much they're able to, to do now and how, how better their quality of life is. I think that's for me is the, the most gratifying.